We're all born artists. The problem is to remain an artist as we grow up. That was Pablo Picasso. And I, and I think we've got to help our kids, all our kids, aim high in life. Not just high, but higher than high. We've got to help our kids find their passion, their art. So I'm Nick Corston, I'm, I'm just a dad. I'm co-founder of Steamco. Um, one day maybe I'll be the CEO, I don't know. So Steamco is a non-profit community enterprise that helps connect our kids with their art and our communities with their schools by running Creativity Days. And we want to get the whole community involved. We want people who've had kids, not had kids, got kids, whatever, to come and work with us to help us run these days. What inspired me? Well, I saw a talk by Sir Ken Robinson. I read half a book called What's the Point of School? on what we should be teaching our kids. And I went to Camp Bestel, which is really a Glastonbury for kids. And I thought, I want this in my kid's school. I've got a lovely little film my dad gave me of me when I was one and him with my first ever train set. And I show that to kids in schools all over the country. And how my dad gave me the greatest gift. He gave me my art. Because art, art is what we call it when what we do might connect us to somebody else. So art could be painting, it could be photography, it could be cooking, it could be coding, it could be dancing, it could be design, it could be DJing, it could be robots, it could be rockets. The fun, the excitement that we have making and firing rockets in schools is to be seen to be believed. This is the best show of my life. And this truck contains everything you need to run a creativity fest within a primary school. 30 coding kits with a BBC micro bit. We've got rocket making kits. We do cardboard challenge. We can do the, the egg drop. We've got t-shirt printing machines so we can print I Love Art t-shirts. So the kids design their own logo, take a selfie. We've had thousands of posters of those done. That's with JR, French street artist JR. So we've got communities all over the country designing I Love Art logos taking photos and we sent them off to JR and he's printed a thousand of these off for us, which we're fly posting all over the country. So. <laughs> In lockdown, we got an Arts Council grant and we built a green screen TV studio. We've been live streaming events all summer. We did a three day Glastonbury event where we built a half size pyramid stage from cardboard and code and ran three day events. We had Martin and Gary Kemp. We had Glenn Matlock from the Sex Pistols on stage alongside community artists, dads and their kids. And we had a young lad um, from Leeds called Lenny who played um, his piano on stage, all virtual. And that's what we want to do. Lockdown's not going to lift in a hurry. And we're running festivals from a spare bedroom here in Paddington. But we need people involved. We want people to collaborate for creativity. I think that'd be fantastic work to see. For me, collaboration is everything. Elton John gave me the greatest gift, actually. He made a film, I don't know if you saw it, with John Lewis, where basically he tells the story of how he was given a piano as a kid and worked hard and made literally a million. I saw that film, ripped it off, put our own subtitles on it, and Elton John retweeted it. It had 50,000 views in an hour, and I went on a two-week UK tour from Cornwall all the way to Carlisle, showing that film, showing my train set film, talking to kids about art and creativity, letting off rockets, and inspiring schools across the country in our 12 days of Creative Christmas tour. You've inspired one little boy in particular, a very quiet boy, and as that rocket shot into the air, we heard the words blast off come out of his mouth. Innovation, technology, and dreams rocketing up to the sky. The state education system, we have a lot of people feel it's been narrowed and narrowed and narrowed, focusing on teaching and testing of highly academic subjects, which are important, which are right for some kids, but it's not for everybody. And some kids come out of the education system literally broken. Nine out of 10 schools in Britain have reported cutting the arts in some way or another, which is a real tragedy. And we're going to lose that cutting edge creativity that made Britain so famous. Creativity is Great Britain after all. The ideal future for me would be a whole load of these trucks on the road with passionate, enthusiastic, committed, creative people helping connect kids with their art and communities with their schools all the way across the UK. As Albert Einstein said, imagination can take us anywhere.
like to have Steam Day, um, Co Day in my classroom because we get to learn about um, what's inside stuff and stuff and things. I like science because you get to make stuff. You can like describe um, people who like do stuff what's amazing.